In this video, we're going to talk about software setup and some tools you need in order to simulate and compile BHDL code. So as we said before in a previous video, you can use any text editor to write your code. Uh, however, in, if, if you are doing bigger programs or something that has a bit of complexity, you probably want to use a proper IDE. As uh, we've talked in a different video about the EDA Playground, which is a nice IDE because it has some syntax highlight and it helps a little bit with some uh, of the templating of your code. However, it's not very advanced. Uh, Vivado has a very nice IDE, which uh, creates automatic hierarchy and it populates the, the folders in your project automatically. It's very nice as well, but it's very heavy. However, uh, the option that I like to use particularly is Visual Studio Code. Now, Visual Studio Code is a free and open source IDE that you can use in any platform. Um, right now I'm using Windows, so I'm showing, um, I will show you how to install it on Windows. However, you, the process is very simple in any other platform. So in Windows, all you have to do is go to the Microsoft Store, look for VS Code or Visual Studio Code and click on the install button. It's that easy. And that's all you need for that. Um, we are also going to use another very important app, which can be WSL, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux. You can install that as well. I've already got it installed. Or you, instead, of, instead of installing WSL or your, the Windows subsystem for Linux, you can install Ubuntu or any other Win, uh, Linux distribution. Actually, let's see what comes up for Linux. Yeah, so you got Linux, a couple of Linux uh, distributions here. Uh, so you can choose the one that you prefer. And basically, when you install this in your computer, in your Microsoft computer, basically just gives you uh, a terminal environment where you can basically run any Linux app directly on top of your of your Windows installation, which is very convenient. So we're going to use those apps and I already have Visual Studio Code um, installed here. And I'm going to, one of the reasons why I like Visual Studio Code is because of the extensions. So on the side here, we have this uh, menu bar where we can open different menus. We can see our file menu, debug menu, extensions menu, remote, uh, source control for git uh, and stuff like that um, so we're going to go to extensions and i am going to install wsl the same and this is the one i want so we're going to install this i already got it installed but the idea is that once you have your linux uh, in their version installed this is what you get once you've installed your linux you basically get a window like this that allows you to input your your Linux commands and since you have a Linux environment here and now once you have installed once you have your Linux environment and you have VS code this extension what what it allows you to do is it allows you to come into this for example into any folder into your into your into your Linux environment and when you type the the command code dot that means the to open the present folder um, it basically will open it will download the vs code server and it will open an instance of vs code in that folder in your linux distribution it's like you're basically running linux we can we can open we can trust this the author of this <laughs> folder because it's us so basically here we are opening a folder inside our our computer but it's not on the windows machine it's it's running on linux so we can say here it's running on wsl ubuntu so we can create files and we can do anything here but it's not running directly on windows it's running on on ubuntu so this will uh, be important later and we'll see you in the next video